So next we have a very special participant. And her name is Abba and she is a Kathak dancer. Let's go and meet her. My mom teaches her students, and um, I really wanted to learn it. And then when she start, when I started, um, I learned that I I thought that I was really good at it, and everyone everyone said I was really good at it. So then it it encouraged me to get better. You definitely seem like you're a great Catholic dancer. So you Thank you. probably your inspiration, right? Yes. And how old were you when you first started dancing to Kathak? Well, I started when I was three, but I started properly learning at the age of seven. Hmm. What do you love most about Kathak? I like that you can um, uh, dance and you can hear the beat when dancing. Wow. And you can use your expressions too. Have you ever competed before or performed? I perform at a, a concert, a dance school concert, and at different events too. Do you know the nine expressions in da dancing? No. The emotions? No. That's okay. Hmm. Um. Do you know other dance forms? Besides. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, um, I do do calisthenic. What is that? Um, I do, it's like a uh, Australian sport. Wow. And what got you into the sport? Some type of other thing besides Gatak. And I was, and then when I started doing calisthenics, I, I also thought that I was really good at it and I was very flexible. Wow! In Kathak, what's your favorite step? Um, I'm not sure. Do you like dancing alone or with a group of people or with your mom? I like doing both, but mostly I like doing solo. Solo, wow. So you are a solo dancer. So, since it's COVID, have you done any dancing in COVID? Have you taken a video of yourself or...? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, really? I do them in my mum's uh, studio in the back of our house. Wow! What are the other talents you have except for dancing? Um, I play the keyboard. And really? Do you know the and difference I between a keyboard and a piano? Um, a keyboard smaller, I oh, guess. Oh, that's something I didn't know. 
On on the keyboard, I play Indian classical and Western classical music. Oh, that's incredible! Wow. Do you also sing, Abba? No, I don't sing. No, that's okay. Even I don't even sing. Um. So now we're going to ask you a little riddle, okay? And if you get this correct, then you win a big surprise from Studio M4. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so the riddle is, there are two fathers and two sons, but there are only three people. How is this possible? There are only two fathers and two sons, but there's only three people. So how is this possible? Remember, it's a trick question. Is the son a father? Yes, keep going. Wait, yeah, you're basically correct. So what are the three people then, if the son and father... Is it a son, a father and a grandpa? Correct! Congratulations! That's pretty smart of you to say that. Well done! So you've just won a voucher from... Studio M4, congratulations! Thank you! Thank you for having me! You're welcome! Thanks you... for um, talking to us too! Thank you for coming to Little Wanda! Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. But it's time for us to go. But if you guys have a talent, write to us at littlewonder at m4tv.com.au. Bye guys.